Hey guys, Ty and Sky here from Ty and Sky's Health Club, and we are looking for the health topics that matter to you. Follow the link to submit your ideas and we'll get them covered as soon as possible. Have a good one. Hello everybody, Ty from Ty and Sky's Health Pub here. Have you ever found yourself wondering, what are the areas of my life that I draw strength from? Well, we recently had a chance to sit down with Allison, who is a suicide prevention coordinator for the North Dakota Department of Health, to discuss a program called Sources of Strength, and it seeks to do just this in an effort to lower teen suicide risk. Check out our discussion with Allison. <laughs> And could we get you to just kind of explain for us uh, what is sources of strength? What kind of makes up sources of strength? Uh, yeah, so so uh, I'm thinking it was over 20 years ago now, um, actually here in North Dakota in Bismarck, Mandan, a man named uh, Mark Lowe Murray was the school resource officer, and he worked okay. with young people, and he had been to like 20 funerals mm. in just a few years of young people. And so he... Uh, worked with folks in the region to start a program that later became Sources of Strength. He did interviews with folks that survived a suicide attempt and did not go on to die by suicide and actually got better. Mm -hmm. And he asked them through focus groups and through um, interviews, many, many people um, of different ethnicities um, and ages, how did you get better? What did you do? And um, some of the, and he, he built a program basically around the the information that they got from this, as well as other research and studies. Um, so, what they found uh, was that uh, the adult peer relationship, and especially since implementing the program, um, they've found this again and again uh, that the adult peer relationship. Um, a mentoring kind of relationship is protective and not just for that one student but that student's friends and you can see this mapped out on like a geo um, uh, mapping uh, device and it's something you can probably find online if you look at sources Perfect. of strength but, yeah. um, and then some of the other things that were pointed out and, and sort of put into uh, clusters in a pie and I don't know um, well for sure thing. thanks yeah um, is uh, the the qualities that young people said were most uh, most helped them get better and feel stronger and so that it was called sources of strength it is designed after a medicine wheel um, as uh, the uh, American Indian community in North Dakota Standing Rock and Meche Nation and other um, communities within North Dakota were active in the development um, in, in years earlier but um, the components that were brought out um, were mental health, family support, positive friends, mentors, healthy activities, generosity, spirituality, and did I say medical access? So those things are kind of how they were grouped. And what he found is that any one of those things um, isn't, you know, ha being really strong in one of those areas is maybe not the most important thing, but clusters. If folks have um, a few of those or clusters, three or four strengths that they're really strong in, that they tend to do better. So um, the program has a couple of different things that it does. It, it um, encourages ongoing meetings um, between youth and adults. It fosters adult and young people relationships. They have a lot of positive activities. It keeps young people moving. But it also gets the um, trains peers to be uh, connectors. They're not little like PhD therapists or anything for the other students, but they're an assortment of, of young people that are selected for having influence over different social networks, not just the one group of the kids that are all on honor roll, but the kids mm -hmm. um, in every social group, including some kids that are more isolated. Um, what we find um, through sources of strength and other research is that, um, is that about one in eight of young people are isolated. That means that they don't have, uh, they're not claiming anyone as a friend and nobody else is claiming them as a friend. And so what that, those folks are at much higher risk of suicide. We also find that young people, when they have a friend that attempts or completes suicide, that whole social network of friends and that cluster 
uh, is at increased risk and so you might see a cluster. Um, and so it, after an attempt or a completion, um, we, that's when we really need to make sure that we're uh, really taking action. But this is an upstream primary prevention program. Um, so it really uh, also just supports all students to be healthy and to um, uh, emotionally and physically and um, to really try to prevent them from getting to that point where they are thinking about suicide. So, and there's a lot more to it than I just covered, but um, there's, it, it's a real comprehensive program and there's a lot of um, information that goes with it. But if anyone, especially in North Dakota, is interested, um, they can go to the website and um, the Sources of Strength website and uh, contact them. Um, and we'll provide a link for that um, down in the description below for you guys too if any of you are interested in, in pursuing uh, more knowledge about this. For sure. So the ideal would be to get all of these, uh, preferably, and then uh, and in, the, in that case, that would be probably the best chance of probably having a, a, a better outcome then. Right, and you know, um, I guess the I guess more is more, um, but at the same time, you know, some uh, if um, w what we encourage folks to do is to con maintain the strength, the supports they have in their life, and the things that make them feel strong. But then to really look at how they can, um, what they could do to uh, to strengthen those other areas that they maybe aren't as strong in. Um, so you might have folks that have really, really strong friendships and some positive friends. Um, and they might have a real strong uh, family support and, uh, and be really involved in their church group and their sense of spirituality is really solid. But maybe they don't. Um, maybe they're having trouble accessing health care, especially in some rural communities and, um, you know, things like that. So that's something that maybe they could talk to somebody about and see um, how they can increase those other areas. This is this is a, this is very useful because you know ne never thinking it in terms of you know all the supports that someone might have um, in terms and like seeing it like like this I think this is a very good representation of yeah of uh, of of all the things that can help a person through something and then I I, I especially really like the point about you know if if you have a str a particular strength to not you know focus on like being happy you know, like be proud of that being a strong support and just keep it as something you know to to foster like keep it keep it growing yeah so absolutely. so that's that's really cool one of the things that we see through the program and there's lots of pieces like this but we have um the young people uh, there's one of the activities that we do is we look at you know who's been real strong for you and some families come from rough families and you'll ask them what um, anyone here come from, you know, sort of have some rough stuff going on at home. And, and usually you have some kids that are like, yeah, that's me. And, you'll, and, and maybe they don't have someone at home that's really strong for them. But they might have um, an auntie or they may have a, uh, a neighbor, somebody who is really strong for them. Or their friend's family might serve more as that support. And so we can really foster and encourage that. And uh, at the same time, they, we might encourage them to give that person a thank you. Thank you for being a strength in my life. And, um, or maybe it's a teacher. And so that's something that we've done in some of the sources of strength schools is they'll fill out a form that, or a, not a, a, a little card that they make that says, thank you for being a support in my life or thank you for being strong for me. And they'll put it on the school wall and they'll and they might say also who who's a strong for who is strong for them and uh who's been a support in their life and other young people will actually see that and even though they themselves may not have a strong relationship with an adult or that particular person they might see they might think hey you know if they're if they've been strong for them maybe they'll help me with my situation and so they'll go and talk to that same adult because um, of just the power of peer-to-peer um, -peer modeling. If you would like to learn more about Sources of Strength, we've posted some information in the link for this podcast. Please check that out. And if you'd like to get involved, please do that. This seems to be a very worthy cause, and it can help you make a difference in somebody's life and potentially save their life. So thank you for tuning in. As always, please take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you on the flip side.